Hey everyone, so this is just a test because yeah, maybe you see everything is a little bit different. Um, I moved to a new country and I also switched from Windows to Mac. So this is just a test with the recording to see how this works and everything. And yeah, so basically I am working on our new course and yeah, I'm practicing motorcycles and scooters and all that stuff. And I just thought I will use this little chance here uh, to show you something. How I solve a thing, so let me, uh, by the way, you can download just below this uh, video, this uh, project file, do this so you can follow along and learn something. So we have here, so yeah, I think this is one half of a scooter, right? I can, uh, I think you can imagine that. And the thing is, now you see we have here this hole, which we have to close. Again, this is just a test. Nothing will be perfect and all that stuff. And I'm just practicing, figuring out different techniques and for you. So this is kind of my process. And the first thing, of course, what we can do is we can try to select all of those boundary edges. Okay, basically we can just alt click and now patch it. So either you press here on patch, but I have it on shift uh, three. And I want continuity, right? So press G1, but here it's a sharp corner. So here it has to be G0. So this looks fine, but you see it's not <laughs> what we want. It's not really smooth going from this surface into this one. So when you have something like that, or when I have something like that, then I just try to break this whole hole down into smaller pieces kind of. So the hole itself will be smaller. So we have more control over the patch. So just for example, I will take this face here and with control R and tap. So um, isoparam, it will be for you. I will add here a new curve edge and, and also here, because here now we can take those edges, loft them with G2 and add this edge here. And now you see we have here a nice connection. So I will just join it and our hole is a little bit smaller. So we could try again with alt click and shift three or patch um, and tap again and just here G zero. And you see um, oh, here on the top, it looks great, but here at the bottom, because we have here G zero, it, it starts to lose the shape here at the bottom, right? So what I want to do is he, here we have one edge and I want to, okay, I, I need this app where I can paint it, but okay. Anyway, it's just a test video. <laughs> so I want this edge connect to here, but I can't loft this way because this will be too crazy. So again, I will just select this face and with shift R or uh, isoparam, um, create here a new edge. So yeah, maybe something. So yeah, I don't know, maybe something like that. And now let's try again to loft those and shift click at this one and here G2, G2. And this one will be G0. And you see we have a nice transition. So first of all, yeah, let's right click. You see now we have a nice smooth transition because here we have continuity and curvature as you see. But here at the back, I, I want the sharp edge. So this is a nice transition. And also here we made our hole just in general, a little bit smaller. And we have like this nice flow from the front to the back, right? So again, join everything and let's try. You see our hole is again smaller, which is good for patch and press to alt click again and shift three or patch. And now we can just tap and give it a um, yeah G1 continuity here, maybe even G2, but yeah, that will not work, I guess. So yeah, you see the problem is, is this super sharp corner here. I, I don't like it. When you, when you patch something, it's generally good if you have, if you don't have those crazy sharp holes here. So what I will just try again, it's just a test. And this is 
maybe this video is not so super valuable as the others because the others I practice like three, four times before I record them. But I just wanted to show you that it's normal that you have to figure out things, experiment, and just by doing, this is what I always encourage you, not just watch my tutorials, copy what I'm doing. So you should do that in the beginning, but then try your own way, you know, because this is the way you will learn the most. So what I will do is I want to get rid of this triangle and just something, an idea. I will just create a curve here and just cut with this curve here the surface and just delete this piece and this curve. And you see, we have much more space and this patch can breathe kind of much better, right? So again, press two, alt click, shift three or patch it and give it G1. And guys, voila, you see it's already much, much better. And now let's try to give it here everywhere G2. And you see it's it's still not perfect. It's um yeah, it's I have to I have to adjust basically everything. Oh, and by the way, let me know down in the comments right now if you are interested in this short, quick tutorials where I just show you the process while I work on personal projects or on a course because yeah, I'm practicing almost every day. And what you see on YouTube is just a very, very little portion of the whole work and plasticity I do. So if you like this kind of low budget, quick tutorial, just let me know because then, yeah, I will record if I encounter something interesting and just upload it to YouTube and yeah, I give you even more value. So yeah, let me know now. Okay, don't worry. Yes, I have now a headset after the cut because it's noise outside and I can't concentrate. But yeah, basically now that's already much better, right? And now I could continue here to work on more. But again, so I hope what you learned out of this video. Practice on your own, create your own projects. And when you have like crazy holes, which you want to patch, just break them down to smaller pieces. Like I tell you, this is... You, you will learn so, so much about surface modeling, how that works, G1, G2 and all that stuff. It's just amazing. It's, 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 it's so much fun. So a lot of good stuff is coming towards you in the following weeks and months and next year will be absolutely amazing. I have so many surprises for you. So see you in one of my next tutorials. Have a nice day. Bye.